Texas teachers had some harsh words for lawmakers today during a hearing on public education at the state capitol. They're upset with a new state policy that links teacher evaluations to how students perform on standardized tests. KXAN's Lindsey Bramson shows us why some teachers say that is simply not fair. It was a packed room here at the Capitol as several local school employees from all over the area showed up and expressed their concerns about a change in teacher evaluations. I know how to explain concepts to kids. That's my expertise. Local school teacher Patty Hill was far from quiet in front of legislators. So, so my least favorite part of the job, you know, I hate it. I hate that, like, I'm, oh, my kids are being evaluated on some test that really doesn't measure what they get out of my course. Hill teaches algebra to students at Keeling Middle School and says there's a flaw in the current system in which teachers are evaluated. Primarily because if you just read it on its surface, uh, I would get a horrible, uh, horrible review um, based on the current standards. And while she's all for change, Hill says basing teacher evaluations on how well a student does on a standardized test is inaccurate. A teacher for more than 16 years, Hill now puts her lessons online. So if you see sine theta, you can convert that to 1 over cosecant theta. It's called a flip classroom, which allows students to be more involved inside the classroom and read the lectures after school. She says that method more accurately reflects the student's growth rather than a high-pressure test. I think we need a different evaluation system because we really need to get at the heart of, of student learning. Read. And I don't know necessarily that the current one does that. Right now, some lawmakers seem to agree and may tackle the issue next legislative session. Lindsey Bramson. KXAN News. The Association of Texas Professional Educators released a statement about this saying we flatly reject any notion of a dual system that would only use test scores to evaluate teachers in core subjects. More than 60 school districts in Texas will use the new appraisal system this fall in a pilot program. Just a few of them are in Central Texas. We're talking about Lake Travis and Pflugerville ISDs. Those are the largest area districts in that pilot. Wimberley, Elgin, and Fayetteville school districts will also test that new teacher appraisal system. And the new system will be available to all school districts for the 2015-2016 school year. The Texas Education Agency has already stopped collecting data from the current teacher evaluation system, in part because teachers almost always get high scores. In 2010, 96% of Texas teachers received ratings of proficient or better. Just 77% of Texas students met passing standards on achievement tests. The emphasis on standardized testing is not popular with many teachers across the state. We told you earlier this year how some teachers actually left the public school system because of the test pressures. Some parents are also looking for ways to let their kids opt out of taking the STAR. You can find more about our coverage of the testing controversy online right now at KXAN.com.